please take a moment to say the Pledge of Allegiance with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Come on, let's clean this up. It's time to go. No, we're staying and finishing it. I'm not staying late. I'm on a skateboard. My friends will be waiting Well, you better forget about that. We have to finish this project now. It is due in two days, and I'm not going to get stuck doing it all myself. You never do your part of the work. You always take over, Mac, like you're the boss of everything. Well, someone has to be the boss around here. Fine. The boss himself. Get back here. Come on, Sierra. Let's clean up. It's time to go. Let's just stay and finish it. Sierra, I really don't want to stay late. I want to leave so I can go skateboard. I think we should stay and finish it. It's due in two more days, and we won't have enough time to finish it in class tomorrow. I disagree. I think we have plenty of time. Besides, I've been looking forward to skateboarding all day. I understand you'd be disappointed if you didn't get to ride your skateboard. I just think our project is more important than that. I know our project is important. We can work on it in class tomorrow. And we can write a list of things we still need to do. The Student Council and NJHS are sponsoring a Halloween door decorating contest. Each door will decorate with their 1A class. Student Council members will judge the doors. The winning homeroom will receive Eagle Bucks and a donut breakfast sponsored by the Student Council and NJHS. The winning teacher will receive a $20 Pizza John certificate sponsored by the Social Committee. And the class who's voted as honorable mention will win Eagle Bucks, while the teacher with honorable mention will win a $10 Pizza John certificate. Have your 1A teacher email Miss Lane if your class is interested in participating. Kudos to Miss Goldstein for being named the Relay Teacher of the Month for September. Miss Goldstein is recognized for her effort to support colleagues with Vocabulary.com. She has also provided support to department members with accessing Common Lit and providing resources for emergency subplans. Mrs. Goldstein also supports students in class and through our after school mentoring program. Our students and staff are so lucky to have Miss Goldstein on our DCMS team. From Mrs. Bell. Sollers Point Technical High School is hosting an open house on October 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. If you are interested in pursuing careers in the following industries, be sure to attend with your parent or guardian to find out more about these programs. Building and Construction Technology, Culinary Arts, Computer Networking and Cybersecurity, the Academy of Health Professions, Cosmetology, Diesel Truck and Power Systems, Computer Science and Cybersecurity, Biomedical Science, Automotive Services, and Baking and Pastry. Again, if interested in any of these programs, be sure to visit the open house at Sollers Point Technical High School on October 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. The Student Council wants you to lead our school in decision making, improving morale, and increasing the academic success of our students. We will meet this Tuesday, October 19th from 3.15 to 4.15 in room 43. Remember that no activity bus is provided and that you can participate virtually using the Google Meet code you see on the screen. A school bus is many things. So is a walk home. If you have ever needed a friend, dealt with a sick parent, given in to peer pressure, felt like you didn't fit in, been the subject of a rumor, had a best friend, faced your fears, been the class clown, had a crush, or struggled with anxiety. Look no further than, look both ways, a tale told in 10 blocks by Jason Reynolds. One Walk Home, 10 Intersecting Stories. The recipient of many positive reviews and numerous awards, including
including being named a National Book Award finalist and a Coretta Scott King author honor book. This book is worth a look. Student Council and MTSS team are sponsoring an anti-bullying spirit week this week, October 18th through October 22nd. We ask all students and staff to wear the following colors each day of the week to encourage anti-bullying awareness and to begin to create a culture of anti-bullying at DCMS. Do you know that science has proven that a part of your body actually gets warmer as you tell a lie? Which body part is it? Did this book trailer pique your interest? Would you like to meet the author virtually? Message Miss Hill and Schoology if you would be interested in participating in the virtual author visit with Lindsay Curry, the author of Scritch Scratch on October 26th at 10 a.m. Each participant will receive a copy of the book and get a chance to ask some questions about the story to the author herself. Remember to reach out to Miss Hill on Schoology or email at chill at bcps.org if you're interested. Attention DCMS students and staff, vocab.com is back. Make sure you're building time in your virtual learning schedule to explore vocabulary.com. Mrs. Bell is excited to host our October challenge and will be sponsoring the following prizes for students who have the most words mastered and teachers whose classes have the most words mastered at the end of the month. The answer to the oldest riddle to be written down is a school. Congratulations to the following students for getting the answer correct. Darius Leith, Amari Hatton Gibson, Vaughn Kaywork, Kavian Washington, Robert James Cook, Akira Grant, Alicia Conway, Sean Murphy, Aris Johnson, Emily McClelland, Isaiah Mitchell, Chloe Critch, Janet Odafoye, Kathleen Vasquez Berrios, Riley Scott, Sebastian Candelario, Justin Pereira, Mackenzie Surratt, Joshua Oladeji, Precious Egwam, Joshi Zavala, Patience Malam, Kamaya Bost, Layla Lauder, Anthony Rivera, Kendra Hamilton, Deasha Beek, and Amaya Bost. Your Eagle Bucks have been added to the Eagle Buck Bank. It is time for I Am Smarticus. When you find out the answer to the question that follows, message Ms. Hill, and if your answer is correct, your name will be added to the wall of Smarticuses. Here's another riddle for you, but it's a history riddle. Can you figure out the answer? If April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. Got, got to think, 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 think. Allow your eyelids to begin to soften or float closed. And just take a deep breath in through your nose. And then sigh that breath out through your mouth. And on your next breath, 
taking an inhale, just start to count the length of the inhale, inhaling for however long is comfortable for you, holding the breath at the top for that same count, and then exhaling for that same count, and just repeating that for the next few cycles of breath, allowing your breath to bring a sense of harmony and balance to your mind, your body, your soul, allowing the breath to act as a bridge between the past, the present, and the future, feeling a sense of grounding, openness, and expansion. <laughs> 